So Chiqua's dagger, uh, Chiqua was known as the first um, carrier to own a dagger. And a rumor, uh, legend has it that it was passed down from the coast, from the ships coming on the coast, and it was traded inland. Chief Kwa received the dagger in a potlatch west of here, a big potlatch, and it was a, a really a valued um, piece of. Um, like it wasn't really because it was a big weapon for its weapon purposes, but for its status and its rarity. Because at that point, um, you know, that was the early early trading of the ships. So when the first uh, fur traders came into this country, they were surprised to find Chief Kwa had a, had, a, had a metal dagger. And he was quite famous for it. The dagger... Um, his, his, one of his, um, his, one of the famous things he's famous for is the Hudson's Bay um, found a, they accused of a fella of um, a, one of the carriers of um, stealing or hurting a Hudson's Bay person in, a, in another town and the Hudson's had this big factor uh, at the time. His name was um, so James Douglas was the James Douglas was the factor at the Hudson's Bay uh, post over here, and um, they went and found this guy, and they actually ended up beating him to death and killing him. At the time, they found him at Chief Kwa's um, fishing camp. Chief Kwa was away hunting at the time, and uh, when he came back, he found out what had happened. So him, him and a few of his men went to the Hudson's Bay. They took the fort over, and they actually had James Douglas with with his dagger. I'm not sure if it was Chief Quar, one of his men had Chief Quar's dagger at James Douglas's um, throat. And rumor has it that his wife and another lady, native, his wife who is um, carrier, pleaded for his life. And she threw blankets and stuff, and, and they they thought better of it, so they let let him go. James Douglas ended up. People were still after him, so the Hudson's Bay actually moved him down to the coast, and he actually became the first um, governor of British Columbia. Uh, so it might not have been he might not have been that if if he hadn't had this running on Chief Kwa. So that was one of the, the famous things. So later on in life, uh, this, this guy here in this corner here, his name was Louis Billy. That was Chief Kwa's grandson. The, night, the dagger was supposedly passed down. And in, in, the, in a Louis Billy's care, the dagger went missing. And uh, there was a guy named uh, Monroe who. Um, was in care of it and for some reason he lost track of it and they couldn't find it and we found this letter not too many years ago of um, Louis Billy asking this is from Father Maurice to Louis Billy and Louis Billy must have asked Father Maurice to look into it because it explains how Father Maurice was looking in, in Winnipeg for the dagger and um, for many years, they couldn't find it. In more recent times, they found a dagger with a different handle on it. And uh, they, they um, if you see the rust marks, actually, are exactly... So later in life, they, they, uh, like more recent times they found this dagger with a different handle on it and if you see the rust marks um, they're exactly it's like a fingerprint and uh, so that's how they found out that the dagger had a, its handle changed and um, at the same time they did tests 
on the, on the aging of the dagger. And they found that there was too much harder in this dagger to be the original Chief Claw's dagger. This dagger is in the fort down here, in the fort museum. And uh, so it dates right to the time of Chief Kwa's death. So when we, um, so we don't know where the original dagger went. Uh, some people still say this is Chief Kwa's dagger, but the tests are pretty conclusive. And um, Grant Ketty of the Royal British Columbia Museum did a study on it. Most of this writing is um, his his um, paper on um, on the dagger. And there's a picture of the dagger as it looks today. And that's the one that's in the park. Which one's that? The, the one on, below the Chief Louis building. Oh, okay. So we made, I made a replica here and uh, I put there's a, a coin from 1970 in the 70s, a coin that um, had a depiction of Chief Kwa on it. So I put that on the dagger. So when I tell the kids, I say, where's Chief Kwa's dagger? And they say, we don't, we're not sure. I say, well, where's Louis Billy's dagger? I say, down in the, the historic park. Uh, Which dagger do we have? And they say, Coyote, Coyote's dagger. So that, uh, that's a little bit of the history of Chief Kwa's dagger. Uh, like, like I said, he was the first um, carrier to own a dagger. That, uh, the dating is in the 1770s is when he supposedly got it, which is very early in the training days. 